I'm Silky Stacy. Uh, I'm a mermaid tail maker and a professional mermaid. Been doing it for about five years now. We launched our business last year, officially. Um, so a lot of trial and error. So far we've made uh, four full tails. Before that we were just sort of making the tails for ourselves. Um, but it is very, it's very um, costly to do all the bits. So we were like, oh, maybe we can find a couple of people to um, buy some just to offset the cost. Um, and then, you know, we sort of thought, oh, there's no one here in Australia. And, you know, we like to spread the love everywhere as well. So we thought we'd open it up, bring in other people. I always feel like a mermaid, I think. Yeah sort of um it's very different when you put on the tail um you can sort of sort of like you're acting um which is good it's like a bit of a different personality watching splash when i was a young child i was absolutely amazed by daryl hannah and she's just gorgeous and i was like oh my goodness i wish i could be her So we start with um, the designing process um, and then we get measurements um, Then we've got to start pouring the silicon, getting the pigment into the silicon Then we can start piecing it together and getting the tailoring the shape to the person um, and then when all that's done then we can start painting um, and adding extra fins and blended wastes onto it. We start making them, I had to do the moulds and sculpting and everything. Um, so for all our moulds that we've got now, I've probably spent a good uh, 200, on the 200 hours on the fluke. Um, probably that again on the scale sheet, which is just does the body part, the tail skin, um, plus all the hours of the, the fins and everything. Um, but once all that's done and everything, um, it takes about eight hours for each piece to cure, so we've got to do each piece separately. This was our test run, um, which worked out reasonably well. Um, I probably get about maybe 10 pulls out of the plaster ones, if I'm lucky, if I'm very gentle with it, um, and I've, if I've sealed it all up properly. Uh, lots of experiments um, that didn't work because there's not a lot of information around on how to make a mermaid tail. Lots of things not working, um, ruined moulds, silicon that got wasted, silicon pouring all over the floor because I didn't realise that the walls of the thing needed to be up high. Lots of things that didn't stick to each other. I would love to be able to be making at least 10 tails a year. That's my ultimate goal. Uh, so far we've made uh, four full tails. I'd like to um, bring on an apprentice later on, um, just because I'm getting older now and I have a lot of um, health issues and Laura does too. So, so it'd be nice to have some young blood and bring on the legacy along. I love being a tail maker. It's just the best thing ever. Um, I've always been very creative. I've always made um, custom things for people. I, I really like to work with a person and bring their vision to life. Making people happy and I love it. I love the joy that people have when they open it. And they're like, oh, it's real. It's a real fish in there.